Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the database guys, database design. So basically the image is not so clear guys, I can understand that. Okay, so I'll be reading, so just to open the PDF guys or just to go to Google and type database design. You will be getting many photos, so you can follow any one of those photo. Fine. So the first block will be the native user. So understand, the first upper layer will be the users, second will be the query processor, third will be your storage and fourth will be your disk storage. So I hope everyone got at least a small idea. Okay, so totally we are having four types of users in database guys. So the first type will be the native user, second type application programmer, the third type will be sophisticated users or query users, F fourth will be your database administrators. Fine, so I hope everyone got at least a small idea on the four. So basically everyone uses the database, but only the application programmers write in the database. Okay. Fine. So after that, we are having application interface, application program, query tool and administrator tool. So these are connected to various blocks. Those are nothing but application. We'll be going to them guys. Don't worry. Application, program, object code, compiler, compiler and linker, DML queries, DML queries and organization, query evaluation engine, administrator tools. We'll be having DLL interpreter. So these will be in your query processing. We'll be going through them guys. Don't worry. So we are also having buffer management, file system, authentic authentication and integrity constraints and we are also having the transaction management. So in database we will be having data, indexes, statistical data and data integrity. So I hope everyone got at least a small idea on this. So even if you didn't find it in Google guys just download the PDF. So in the PDF you will be finding the image it will be really clear in the PDF guys. Okay. So let us now go through the theory. So basically database designers. So I told you four layers right users, query processing, storage management. So we'll be discussing about the first three things. Whereas storage, I hope everyone can write about indexing data. We already learned about them. Indexing we'll be discussing in the next tutorial. Don't worry. Fine. Okay. So users are differentiated by the way they interact with the system. So the way how they interact with the system, according to those things, we will be deciding what type of user is the guy. Fine. So there are totally four types of users guys. So the first type will be the native user. Native users are nothing but the users who interact with the system by invoking one of the application programs. So they will be invoking the programs and they will be accessing with us. That has been written previously. So which are previously written by some others. So many of us will be coming under this guys like the non-programming batch will be coming under this native users. Fine. So now let us go through sophisticated users or query users. So basically these these are the type of programmers which we are now. So we'll be using queries to get retrieve data, right? So, sorry. So we come under this sophisticated users. So sophisticated users interact with the system without writing programs. Instead, they form their request in the database using the query languages. So each query will be break down by the DML compiler. So in the diagram, if you observe it clearly, there will be the sophisticated users will be directly connected to DML compiler. Fine. So let us continue. So after that we are having application programmers. Application programmers are the computer professionals who write application programs. Application programmers can choose from many tools. So there are n number of tools in which they can use a particular tool to write the applications guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So let us continue. So then database administrator is the fourth right. So database administrator please understand the concept guys. Database administrator is the king of the database guys. So basically data administrator is the king of the database. He will be accessing full control on both the data and program. He can do whatever he want. He can, ha he can have all accesses that accesses those data in database is called as database administrator. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So now let us continue with query processing. Query processing is it is the block in which the query will be analyzed and it interacts with the storage management and it gets the data fine. So the query processor will accept the queries from the user, yeah, our accessing our, our queries and solve them accordingly and accesses the database. Okay. So there are various blocks which we have just discussed, which we have named in the previous, previous topic only. So now let us go through them. So DDL interpreter. So always remember DDL interpreter, whenever you find the interpreter, it is going to fetch for something as it will go to fetch for the definition or anything like that. So D DL sorry it's not DML DDL DDL statements are fetched and defined in the data dictionary which are defined in the data dictionary they will be fetched and they will be used fine okay DML compiler 
so compiler means it will be understanding what it is there and it will be converting it into lower level language fine so compiler this will translate the dml statement query language into your lower level language that is nothing but instructions that query evaluator engine can understand so here after that dml queries sorry after that dml queries we are passing it to the compiler so from compiler it will be going directly to the engine so this engine can understand only the machine language or lower level language so that is the reason why we are using compiler here so we are also having embedded dml precompiler so whenever you are trying to embed some other language your sql language into some other language like php with sql in that way basically it is used for web designing guys php plus sql to retrieve the data from your database in web designing so in that way we will be using this embedded okay so i hope everyone got a small idea on this okay so now let us continue so after that we are having query evaluation engine so this engine will execute the lower instruction generated by the dml compiler on dbms okay and application program object code these are the things which we will be having written by the native users so i told that native users will be using or writing some using some bl block of code so those are written by these guys fine okay so now let us go through the storage management storage management is the next block third block okay so a storage management is the process module which acts like interface between the data storage in the database and application program so query is submitted to the system so thus the storage management is responsible for storing retrieving updating the data in the database so all the operations which we are doing will be done manually by the storage manager so in that we will be having a authorization and integrate integrity constraint or integrity module so basically authorization is nothing but it will be asking us the username and password so if you ever used the database sql or anything it, you will be entering your database username and password only then you will be having an access to the database right so that is nothing but authorization so it will be understanding who you are and what are the rights you have so those will be understand by this author authorization and integrity manager is nothing but for a particular column you will be creating integrity constraints right so it will be checking about the integrity constraint if you give unique so if there is any repetition this block will be helping us to retrieve it, to say to generate the error that it is a violated or anything like that fine okay so now let us go through transaction management so transactions which we will be discussing is this one of the most important unit guys it is almost i think so fifth unit okay so it ensures that the database remains in the cons remains correctly without any failures or any kind of issues fine okay so now let us go through file management so file management what it will be doing as it will manage the files so it will use the disk space in an proper way it allocates the information to the disk and data structures are represented in the information of the disk fine so buffer management so whatever queries you are generating those should be retrieved from the disk into main memory right so whatever you are seeing will be from the main memory so that is the reason why we will be using this buffer manager so similarly we are having lock manager lock manager is nothing but whenever you are locking so this is also a concept of transaction so when you lock a particular variable we will be locking it and once the lock is granted we can use it again for the other process and recovery manager recovery manager is also concept also a concept of transactions basically fine so in which in this we will be having some logs and many other things through which we can recover our deleted data so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through the database administrator thank you thanks for watching